He watched as Troy sank to his knees in front of him and forced Connor's legs to open. Ah! Hey guys, Dion here, and today I'm gonna read a fan fiction. Oh, um, I was just like casually just thinking, I don't know why my voice just went that high, about just fan fictions in general, and I'm like, let's read one. I'm bored. I don't read enough books. And if school has taught me anything, it's you should always be reading a book. They didn't say I couldn't read a fanfiction. But on today's Reader's Fanfic Club, I just titled that. It's called Incentives, a Troner Selection. I am excited. Warning, the dialogue coming in the near future may be graphic and obscene. Watch it if you want to. If you can't handle language, please go. This is between Troy Sivan and Connor Franta. Do these jeans give me a nice butt? Troy ripped his eyes from Tumblr to see Connor emerging from the closet wearing tight-fitting dark wash jeans. He raised an eyebrow at the question while sporting a judgmental look, but Connor was too busy, twirling in front of his mirror to notice. You're literally the gayest straight guy I know, Troy joked, turning his attention back to his iPhone. Connor gave a half-hearted laugh and continued to inspect his backside in the mirror, seemingly preoccupied with a task. After a few minutes of silence, Troy looked back up at his worried friend and gave in with a sigh. Con, you look hot as fuck. Connor gave him a dubious look. I'm serious! And, oh uh, yeah, your ass looks absolutely bangable in that, to be H. To be honest, he said, stumbling a bit over those words. Despite how comfortable he felt around Connor, complimenting his straight male friend's appearances always made him slightly nervous. But Connor met his eyes and smirked a bit before turning back to the mirror. Finally, he was satisfied and plopped down onto the bed next to Troy. W wait what do you mean? You could be gay? You know, Connor said, keeping his tone nonchalant, under the right circumstances and whatnot. That's my Connor impersonation. <laughs> Troy scooted closer to Connor, trying to get his attention. Was Connor trying to come out to him in the right way? I mean, he always had his suspicions, but never thought. Wow. Connor's voice snapped the younger boy out of his thoughts. I mean, I don't think I'm gay or anything, but I think I could be if I was given the right incentive by the right guy. At that, Connor met Troy's gaze with that could look be only described in his eyes. Troy froze for a second. Was this in the imagination or was Connor coming on to him right now? His stomach began to tie himself in all kinds of knots and he had a dream once that went something like, suddenly Troy felt a warm hand on his knee. Connor didn't really know what had come over him. All he knew was that he needed this boy right now. The hand started traveling slowly up his thigh, and <laughs> before it could do any damage, Troy quickly grabbed his, grabbed his friend by the wrist. Troy, Connor started, remorse evident in his voice. I'm sorry, I don't know. Troy put his hands over Connor's mouth to stop the apology and leaned in. He brought his clips closer to the older boy's ear and whispered softly, I can give you an incentive. Connor felt a shudder run through his body and nerves of excitement tangled up his stomach. He watched as Troy sank to his knees in front of him and forced Connor's legs to open. Ah! Troy began to fumble with Connor's zipper and then I started on the younger boy as he quickly removed the jeans that started all of this. Connor was now sitting on the bed in his boxers and t-shirt and he felt a bit vulnerable. However, as Troy's long, slender finger began to run themselves up Connor's muscular thighs, his excitement began to other places. Oh my god! Oh my god, what? Connor blushed as he himself felt becoming hard. Oh my god. But Troy unseen phase. He slipped his fingers inside the American Eagle band on Connor's tented boxers and slowly and tantalizing removed them all the while staring up at Connor with those wide, blue, innocent eyes. Um, Connor's boner became free, and Troy wasted no time wrapping his real fingers around him with a smirk! Connor groaned, oh my god! Audibly, as Troy began pumping his length, and pre began to form in the beat of his tip! Oh my god. Without warning, Troy took Connor's cock into his warm, wet mouth and began to suck the tip while pumping the bass. Oh my god! Wow. Connor exclaimed, exclaim, throwing his head back at the feeling and squeezing his eyes shut. Oh my god. 
Troy began talking, mo taking more and more of Connor in his mouth, his glistening pink lips bobbing up and down expertly on his friend's blushing cock. Oh my god. Connor's hands dug into the sheets as he arced his back. Troy, oh my god. He moaned wadenly, and the younger boy's lips reached the very base of his dick. Oh my god. Suddenly the warmth of Troy's mouth was gone, but then he felt his friend's soft tongue licking a slow, a long, slow stripe on the underside of his cock. Connor could not believe how wow. f***ing hot Troy was right now. Where did he learn to do this stuff? Then, Troy then took Connor back into his deliciously wet mouth and began to suck with more fervor and purpose. He moaned around Connor's cock and the vibration sent over Connor over the edge as his vision went black. He held onto the sheets for dear life. Wow. Troy, Connor yelled as he came. White hot spurts down the 19 year old's throat. Troy swallowed every last drop. Connor fell backwards into the bed and began to pant as he came from his high. Troy joined him and then they laid together like that in a few moments. So, you might be a little gay. Ha Connor huffed out a laugh and turned to his friend. You need to teach me how to do that. He declared. Troy smirked at him. Well, you know what they say. Practice makes perfect. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I don't read fan fiction usually, but... <laughs> I'm like... I'm like pressed right now. Like, I don't really know how to feel by that at all. Like... They're such innocent, sweet people, and now I see them in a fan fiction. Life is over. If you like this video, make sure you give it a giant thumbs up. And the positive reminder of this video is just do something different and laugh every day, you know? Something good can come out of that. If you like this video, make sure you give it a giant thumbs up. I will see you guys next Friday. Stay awesome and stay happy. I'm sorry about this graphic video. Peace out. Okay. Fire when the strong hits you. That's it, friend? Yes.